So let's bring back our clothing as well. Though keep in mind, I do plant a major factor of uh, the clothing system. Uh, but yeah, we're still going to have mostly the same ideas. So let's bring it back while we can. Now, if you remember, we already had the cloth item hooks, which basically gets the mesh renderer, the default mesh, and the, your default material. Okay, and depending on the cloth item type, we basically load the cloth items and so on and so on. Previously on the character state manager, I believe. Mm, yeah, okay, we had a list of your starting clothes, which we will then basically load it from a list. Okay, and we had the cloth manager that will basically do that idea. So I think getting, yeah, okay, let's reuse the cloth manager then. I think it's going to save us a lot of time. So, cloth manager, cloth manager. Since we already, we always have this, we need to do init. So let's take a look what's going to do inside. It's going to basically go and find any cloth item hook we have underneath our controller. And it's basically going to also initialize that hook because we have a few things, basically. Just registering them and then, uh, yeah, setting up the references. So that then we can use the cloth item and load them or unload them. Okay. Then these are getting used already. So we just need to be calling load a list of items. I think that should do it for the most part. So let's do public list cloth items starting cloth. Obviously this needs to change in the future as because we're going to be loading them. We're going to be loading IDs from uh, a save file or from a player profile, which of course is going to be inside the save file. So yeah, okay, keep in mind these are all subject to change. And I think if we just do cloth manager dot load list of items starting cloth, we'll basically fix We'll basically do what we want it to do. And we have the Samurai Helmet. Okay, okay. Anyway, let's do Cloth Manager. And for starting Cloth, let's see what we, we have. I'm going to do Samurai Body and Samurai Legs only so I'll see if it unloads the helmet otherwise we might have to call a few other things okay well first of all we do have an issue there's no lot there's no item hook for this okay why is that no item hook okay so let's start putting some, well, let's see. Oh, there's multiple of these. So let's remove those two. We don't actually need them there. Let's try again. Yeah, okay, so there we go. We can now load items and close as well. But as I said, this will change in the future because uh, I found a more productive way that will actually keep us, will actually have us uh, keep the body without having uh, split messes. And it's going to be a more optimized way of having clothes and stuff like that. Okay, but we will have to see that on a later part because it's going to be part of a bigger, yeah, of a bigger cycle of development. 
it's going to be it's going to start as part from the advanced inventory framework but it's not going to be similar it's not going to be that much id based but it's going to have a few of the same techniques so that goes for the clothes and since we are here then let's see what else we could do well i want to check and start doing the combos again okay as you remember we have our attacks which we will go onto our combo info and we will say that after if you're pressing the right bumper uh, when in this state you could do a combo for this okay so let's bring this back first of all we're going to need a controller now not this and you know what here's the thing having a combo info store the controller will mean that all of this or any state that actually has the combo info will actually be storing references that points to this so that's more memory allocation uh, from what we need so i'm simply going to remove the controller and getting the basically just using this every time we are in here it's going to work just fine it's going to be on a larger scale it's going to be more productive okay it's going to be more uh, yeah it's going to be more optimized memory wise okay so as you remember we have a current combo into yeah into our player state manager so we're going to go and do that onto our controller as well but i kind of want to load to make a method for this so i'm just going to do protect the or private combo combos and actually let's see what we have in here animation name and input okay and i'm going to do public void load combos combo target combo combos one will be your target combo back to the combo info then that means all we have to do is controller equals uh, not equals controller dot load combos the combos you have above come on okay so yeah i don't think casting this you can cast it but i'm thinking of terms like if you have 50 of these all of them will have a reference stored only to be used on one frame the first frame that you're actually inside the animation so it doesn't make a lot of sense so i'm going to change the attack from punch to move into the two hand attack one just so that we have just so that we do not confuse it that we are uh, yeah that we are maybe at pressing a button that is not assigned on the attacks so okay combo info is enough so that means we now need to bring back our combo the idea is that when you are inside update and when can do combo is true if you're not using the ranking can do combo will be false if we take a look on our player state manager i believe we won't see much because we had them inside the move player character or was it let's see we have our attack state we have our all state i think it's this inputs for combo yeah so as you can see we have a lot of multiple code for this a lot of duplicate code that we don't need to have here and we're basically going to take 
I think it's going to be this two combo. Yeah, I think it, this one what we need. We're going to get combo from input. So basically, let's just copy these two. Copy them and then let's get back to our controller. So let's close that and let's create a new region. Or let's just put it in, in here and let's create a sub region for that. For combos. Okay, obviously there's a few things that are wrong with this. So this now is going to just be a simple void that is calling you to do combo and we need to check for the combo input. We need to be going through all of our combos here, combos length, and just basically find the one that gets us the input we want. We don't need any of this and we don't need any of this. Well, we do need the can do combo equals false. So basically we're saying current item action is mirrored. That will be from, yeah, that's why we're saving them. So let's say false for now just so that we can test the combo and then we're going to store that as well. Now going back onto this, onto our movement, for example, we have our move character. Okay, animation, move with physics. Now the thing is we're not getting any inputs from here, I believe. Actually, let's close the item actions. Where do we get the vertical from? Yeah, we're calling it from move character. So this needs to be a little bit previously. So we're going to do a public void handle combo. And I think, uh, actually, let's see. Let's take a look one step above because we already have the handle attacking as you see here, which in turn, it gives you all of these attack inputs. We still need all of them. Let's start deleting things. Okay. So let's delete all of that, all of that. Okay, so handle attacking. So here's what we're going to do. Let's move this outside of is interacting or not. And inside handle attacking, we're still going to get all of this, but we're going to stop in here. And we're going to say if controller is interacting or better yet, if it's not interacting, then do this or, or actually no, on the else of this. So maybe let's put this above, let's encapsulate all of in here. Okay. So if you're not interacting, simply play the target animation. But if you're interacting and the controller says that you can do combat, controller dot do combo, yeah, do combo with that, the attack input you have above. Okay, so this now will try and will play the inputs we have, the combos we have. So let's test this out, but just so that we, you know, do not get confused or mixed up, I'm going to remove the left item. So we only have one weapon. Okay, this is the first attack and that's the second attack for the combo, which is what we actually want to have. Yeah, so I think w there is some rotation that it's coming from, yeah, I don't know where it's coming from, 
but we certainly have some rotation. Let's find the this and let's make sure it's not coming from this. No, it has bake rotation in. Okay. So I think it's coming from our own actual rotation. Let's find. Let's close this too. In our controller, let's see where do we handle the rotation. It's down here. So I'm going to comment out the can rotate and see if that's going to come and bring us back the rotation. Okay, there is some rotation coming. So I think it's coming from the from the the agent. Unless we're using hand rotation anywhere else, we don't. So let's uncomment this. I don't think we ever close the agent. Let's see, agent. Yeah, I think we never stop the update rotation on the agent now I think that's it's from that because the agent will try and fix your rotation yeah okay there's that fixed as well okay so now we have back our lovely combos which is exactly what we want to have and it's super nice so okay this is a sort of part we're just bringing back functionalities which we had before we're just having them a lot more clean now if you are being confused with all of this keep in mind that this is only one script now and everything is in order we have our movement here and whatever it does then from our input manager we just take the input and update uh, the proper methods we need to update and all of them are in one place we do not have to share actions from one place to the other we could just do uh, we could just call the methods from where we need them for example when attacking or when you want to do a roll so on once we finish with the factors the state manager is going to go the fsm folder is going to go all this going to go then i believe the state actions also are going to go going to be deleted so we're going to be left with the items folder the item actions and our controller folder and of course okay utilities and stuff like that so that is about this many scripts we have three and this will be about six so nine 11 to yeah about 11 scripts that they're just not used anymore so they are worthless now if we took at the time and start looking a little bit more in depth we're going to remove a few other things okay just keep in mind that for now we have everything working uh, it's it's more simplified trust me so we're going to get up a lot more work done and easier and probably this is going to be the last factor i'm doing on this for sure because i'm really tired of it anyway so that's it for this part as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff like this which i'm sure you do after about 200 videos you as much as i want to see an end to that to this i'm pretty sure you do so as well so as always I'll see you next time.